Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. So, in between the episodes, I went over here and I edited some of our soldiers. So, I went and bought a uh, couple of our rookies. So, we got Astute Winter now. We got Samantha over here, my girlfriend. I had to buy her because reasons. Uh, I want her in. And I also bought Bobbert and then I ran out of supplies. So I couldn't buy uh, Rust and Evox and whoever is left there. Also, I went and remade the two rookies that we got. So I made uh, Casper Bernstein. And I also made uh, Dan Lovejoy. Here they are. Welcome to the to the squad. I don't know if I haven't shown, like Tao Tao I haven't shown yet. Here he is. I haven't shown Joko. He is a badass with tattoos. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, Lieutenant Dan over here. And who else we have? 46. He seems like a rapper to me. 46 name. Yeah, proper. Anyway, that's that's our squad. Also, I remade uh, Dragonova into Zeke. So Zeke is a uh, badass right from the Stalker Shadow of the Chernobyl. He is here. Okay, now let's go and continue with us. Let's see what kind of a mission we get next. Now, what do we have for... Uh, Scanning. We can get a scientist or we can make a contact. I'm gonna go for a scientist. I want a scientist. I want engineers and scientists as many as you can get. I want them. So let's go for that. Let's go. Boom. It's gonna take a couple of days, but we're gonna get. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. New research. This is okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is inspired, so it's just gonna take two days. Not that it will actually take more time otherwise, but. That is fine. I do want to make the get the experimental weaponry as well as soon as possible. We do not have any supplies right now to actually make that happen, so um, it's okay. Oh, alien debris cleared. We are not gonna build anything any here uh, over here because I spent all of my supplies on actually acquiring rookies. Not that I needed them, but <laughs> I normally wouldn't do that. But um, yeah, I just wanted to get as many of you in as possible. Nothing on the local comms. Oh, I know what this mission is. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. <coughs> Pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification Massive system. Massive signal coming from the Advent Network Tower. Nobody cares about your water purification system. Sir, I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens, for 20 years the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish, <laughs> and our world heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth, who are determined to see all that we have achieved. Multiple Crumb. radar contacts on approach to Haven Alpha 7. That must end. Even as I speak to you today, you've got incoming on approach. Your signal's breaking up. 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 Your yeah, this seems like peace and prosperity to me. <laughs> this definitely looks like peace and prosperity to me. Yeah, we're gonna go and save them. No worries there, buddy. Yep, we're also gonna have those boys to deal with. <laughs> Soon! Yes, retaliation, retaliation side. Let's see it. It's over here. Confirm. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna move out. We only get four people, right? Yeah, we can't upgrade our squad yet. That's that's okay. That's okay. Let's see. Let's uh, actually remove the people right now. Let's see who we're gonna get. So, uh, Nemo and Tolson, who are bonded, are tired. We should go with Robert and Miss Gam again because they've been out for a while, right? So we should get them in, and then uh, we do want our two best bonded people so this is basically squad for mission one because the rest are tired and the rest are rookies and we do want to go with a proper uh, team right now so let's make everything available you get a flashbang there you go 
Uh, right, we have some extra stuff. So you can get you can get the med kit. We do have the dragon rounds. I'm gonna give those. Uh, we have the venom rounds. Right, they do extra damage and can poison any organic targets as they hit. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give that to you, Rob. You can you can use that. And then I guess we can give uh, you a gas grenade. Three to four damage. Larger radius than star frags. Poison has a dramatic effect on organic enemies, slowing, slowing them and doing damage over time. You know what? You can have this miss game. That's fine. Okay, uh, this is our squad. We don't really have any extra options, so might as well go with us. And uh, it's gonna be not an easy mission. I don't expect the mission to be easy. Depends, though, if we're gonna have resistant fighters actually helping us or not. That can happen. It can happen. Uh, in War of the Chosen, that was added that resistant fighters will help you out on these missions when they get targeted. <coughs> so we'll see. I think they will. That will make the mission actually easier. But still, it's a good thing we have uh, our full squad over here. All bonded people. We do want to get them up there on bonds. I would really prefer if there was no Chosen on this mission. That would be amazing. Please, <laughs> that there be no Chosen. Oh, there's very close to us. They're in a bus that can explode. Which is smart. So, uh, we are not concealed. We are not concealed. But they are all bonded so they can give each other... Uh, extra moves. As you can see, gas grenade deals the same damage as a normal grenade, but uh, has a larger radius and can poison enemies, so it's a good idea to actually take it instead of the normal grenade. So let's go over here. We need to go save this guys, which means that probably the enemies are gonna be nearby. What is this standing on? It, oh, this is a gas pump. That means explosion. That means explosions. Blocky, get your ass over here. I need you to get closer. And Miss Gam, that's uh, really bad uh, coverage over here, but that's fine. You know, it's not good cover, but it's okay. Rob, you go ahead. Like, you don't have many options. Uh, I'm gonna go on Overwatch in this first part, because I will be able to see the enemies as they out oh, there down here. Good, we actually got an Overwatch popping. It's just one Sactoid? That's a miss. Alrighty then, I was hoping something like that would hit. He probably has a friend with him. No? Yeah, yeah he is. Okay, it's a Stun Lancer. Okay. Fair enough. It's a melee dude. <clears throat> okay, Rob, pistol shot. Let's go! Actually poisoned him. Beautiful. Beautiful. Miss Game's gonna take him out, because they're vulnerable. Oh, also we have Viva La Resistance. Oh, we have Advent over here as well. We don't know who it is, but the Resistance knows. And maybe they're gonna just... Oh, it's a Sactoid, okay. It's a Sactoid over here, and Resistance is dealing damage to it. That's a really good, uh, like, oh. Oh, okay. Just normal troopers. Resistance cannot miss. <laughs> Look at this, guys. It's beautiful. Okay, so now it's our turn. Uh, Robbie, my boy, you have a great shot on the Stun Lancer. Great shot. But first thing we want to do is Miss Gam can go and just slash this bad boy. She will deal extra damage because this guy's sectoids are vulnerable to melee. So let's send her down here. That's okay. That might pop this other group though. Mm, that might that might pop them, yeah. So this is gonna give you a flanking shot as well. As would this. Hmm. Robert? We already know that he has a pretty get good shot at the Stun Lancer. <coughs> he has cover though. And then we have Milky, who has no shot from here? Really? But he has a shot from here. Milky has a combat protocol, so he can deal like guaranteed 3 damage. Only on one person, huh? Over here. But you can give your uh, teamwork point to uh, my boy... Uh, 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 blocky, right? Yeah. You know what? Let's let's just start with Rob. So Rob is gonna try dusting this guy. There's a good chance he he can hit it. If he can. He's gone. Let's go. Let's go, Robert. I knew it. He's gonna take care of it. Beautiful. 
And now I am way more happy about trying to slice this bad boy. So let's do that. Smite pop the other pop pod or might also not. Let's go. Miss Gam destroying the sectoid. Oh, it did pop, but just one sectoid, really? With not even full HP, we can totally dust you. Four HP, I can shoot whatever I shoot over here. It's probably gonna kill you. I can even uh, flank you, or I can shoot that, and that's gonna deal six damage to you, and it's a guaranteed hit. Perfect. But before we do that, I'm gonna actually move you up ahead a bit, like at least here. This is not gonna let you shoot that, huh? Well, we do have Blocky. Blocky can actually shoot that thing from here or here. Let's put Blocky over here in full cover. Yeah, you move on target location and then shoot that thing. That should kill the Sactoid. Pop him. Let's go. Okay, we actually got them. Very nice. So this is the... We actually got four out of uh, six civilians that we need already. But as many as in rescue, if you can rescue more... There's gonna be benefits, as you can imagine. Yeah, this guy's this resistance fighters are gonna now go help the other team, <coughs> which also helps us. And some of them are just gonna flee. Mm. Now all we have is our boy Milky over here. I'm gonna just post up over here. We do not have concealment, so you know, might as well take it easy. We already saved four, so we know that we are quite okay. Not even alien activity, just resistance. Dudes, we got this. We got this covered. Del 2 damage. Beautiful. Get one more shot and this is gonna be a KO. <laughs> Even loot drop? I didn't know that loot can drop from uh, resistant fighters. It's pretty dang good. Okay, blocky. Just move as fast as far as you can. Miss Gem can go up here on a blue move. Yeah, I agree. And then... Well, I don't necessarily want to make uh, yellow moves out here. Especially, well, we might want to do it with Rob. Robert, you might want to move farther. Because we know that like the resistance is fighting those guys over here. And we are like a million miles away right now. So you move ahead. And the rest of you, you'll just squat up and start doing some more watches over here. Alien activity? Are they going to even shoot the civilians? No. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the civilians are just gonna win the, mi win the mission for us. A win, They're gonna win the mission. If they hit now. It looks like this... Okay, that's two misses. That's disappointing. Okay, something is being destroyed over there. Like, really? That's all there is? There might be, like, some more enemy forces in between us that they can't reach the resistance and we can't... Uh, and the resistance can't reach them. I don't know why I'm seeing V today. It's like I'm weird or something. Yeah, Miss Gam, you go forward. Robert can really move, huh? Yeah, move over here. Like, usually I wouldn't be moving my sniper, but right now I am moving my sniper. Now the question is, are we gonna pop anything over here? Don't think so. Do not think so, but I am gonna play this careful. So, or watches all around. Yeah, there we go. There's more of them on this side. <coughs> and now they're gonna be shooting at the... There you go. Dust one of the resistance fighters. Teresa Ramos. I'm sorry, Teresa. Really? They're not backing off? That's okay. Dude, we have to save two out of 13. So, as far as I'm concerned, I'm fine with that. <laughs> but now you really have to start, like, popping them as well. Would help. Nice, even a crit, huh? Loot expired. Well, there was no chances that we would ever get to it, so that's fine. Mm, Milky, like this here is a perfect spot for our boy Robert. If he can just post up over here and then has his sniper for the next turn. We know there's two guys over here. We do want to pop them. Sooner or later, possibly. Blocky can go down here on a blue move. We're still very, very far behind. So those guys are going to be fighting La Resistance for uh, for a while now. So let's do a yellow move. Get her down. See how far she can see. 
you know, that, that didn't reveal them, and that's okay. We're gonna send a Milky in a blue move down here, actually. That's quite okay. And then we can uh, have Blocky jump down on a yellow move as well. And we can have Milky and Rob on Overwatch. Just, uh, you know, just some protection at least. Here you go. You can see them. They're just gonna keep on shooting in the resistance. And, you know, Mini Chunk, if you ever went into cover, that might really do good for you. But <coughs> otherwise, yeah, like you guys should take some better cover or something. Oh, there's two more, and that guy does not have legs. Now he does. Okay, they are really pissed off now. For these stunts, you'll have to do better. You'll have to do better now. Oh, nice. One more shot on this guy, and you got him. Like, at least they cover, though. And here you go. Oh, ho -ho, let's go. So in total, there's like four of them left. Three after this one? Oh, yes. <laughs> Good job, Resistance. Good job. Okay, so Robert's gonna stay here. We know that there's like two of the bad boys over here. So we're gonna send Milky like over here and hope that he sees something. He does not see them. They are still far away. They ignore us. Which is kind of disappointing. But there's still 10 civilians out of whatever many possible. Ms. Gam, go over here. We don't want to get Ms. Gam injured again. <laughs> because she's been out for a while. And then Robert can't do anything. Let's pop... This, this car is not on fire. Let's pop Milky over here. Just do a yellow move, hopefully that reveals them. Yeah, yeah, okay, we have them over here. Now, we only have three people capable of shooting them. Are they flanking Milky? Yes, they're flanking Milky, so we have to deal with them. But, we have our boy Grenadier over here. Blocky can definitely take care of... He can actually hit both. Oh, that's beautiful. That's all. That's gonna kill one and destroy the car for the other as well. So, Blocky, take care of that. <coughs> Let's go. Boom. One guy dead and the other one, Robert, is going to take care of him right now. I know it. Robert has no shot up here? Robert, I'm so disappointed in you. So disappointed. He has a shot from, like, here. That's only going to be... We can give a shot... We can give a Rob... Uh, I mean, you can give a Miss Gam another move. And then Miss Gam can go and slice this guy. Or she can throw a grenade. Just a gas grenade and just gas this bad boy. What is your shot percentage over here? 68, not the greatest. You know what? Rob, give her your move. Let's go. She can go slice and dice. If she moves the slice and dice, I'm gonna be disappointed. I'm just trying to save the grenade. 88%. Oh, I, I should I should really go and drop the grenade. Thank you. Three damage only? Wow. I'm disappointed. Yeah, and then Rob can go on Overwatch. Oh, okay. <coughs> That's the faceless. The faceless pop. It's okay. We know that we knew that that's gonna happen. They're hiding amongst the populace. He shouldn't get any moves in this turn. Actually, he popped before the alien activity, so he might. Okay, he notices us right now on his turn, but he should not get a shot. And so didn't the faceless. Now hopefully you guys are just gonna focus on faceless because you have a... Dude! Or lady, you should definitely hit that. You go into cover and then shoot the faceless. Thank you. Good. You know, two damage is two damage. It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. We definitely want a faceless corpse. If we can... Uh... Okay, go in for another guy, huh? If we can... Um... Get a faceless autopsy going. That is gonna give us a mimic be beacon, which is a perfect thingy. So you can do combat protocol on him. Just two damage is all you have. That's sad. It's really sad. Blockus. Uh, Miss Gam, I think. Oh, she can slice and dice again. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh, that's all she needed. <laughs> That's the third slice and dice kill from her. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Now, do we have a shot on the faceless? We do not because he is like inside the building that we cannot 
see in. But, oh, you do have a shot over here, huh? Right, 74. And then we have Blockus. We do not need cover against the Faceless, actually. Blockus cannot get a shot anywhere, huh? That's kind of sad. It's kind of fucking terrible. Don't want you to overwatch. Hmm. Robert, can you get a shot from anywhere, like, around here? No, not really. You would really need to go way closer. Don't even have shots from there, huh? Like, here you would have a shot. But that's... That's all you have. So, what we're gonna do is... My boy Milky... He's gonna shoot. He's gonna take his 74. He can actually move closer and then shoot. You can move closer. Get a, possibly a better shot at the guy. 84. Take it. Let's go. 3 damage is not great. <laughs> Let me just say that. And then my boy Blocky can come over okay. here. I wanted to click into the, in the car, but yeah. I'm gonna give you a teamwork bonus. Let's go. And now, my boy, Milky, you really have to hit this for five. Let's go! You know, you ask and it shall be received. There you go, 14 out of 19 civilians rescued, 10 enemies killed, no one got injured. Taking Earth back? Yeah. Wow, this is beautiful. What is this? <laughs> what did you give me? Okay, that's better. Taking Earth back. Let's go, boys. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Let's go. Beautiful. Continue. Take photo. <laughs> uh, like, this photos could be really good, like, to use for thumbnails, but it would be kind of a spoiler, so, you no. Know. Uh, Milky made most attacks. 100% shot percentage. I love this. It's great. Miss Gam dealt most damage. Dope. And uh, hopefully some promotions are gonna be uh, for us there. Although, you have to admit, Resistance did a lot. One promotion only? I'm disappointed, and you guys are tired. Most cohesion. Okay. You will be my... Uh, Iron Blade Master, we're gonna go with Phantom, huh? Yeah, I, I like that, because you can scout. There you go. Then you can't really be with Zeke on the missions, because Zeke is gonna be the perfect Another scout. Okay! Effort. We have done it! Yeah, we got more supplies per month here. We have low supplies now. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. But we have our own supply drop in like zero days right now. Boom. Set transmission. No alien activity. <laughs> Thank you. Now we have the chosen. The Void Maiden. Brutal crackdown on resistance. Permanently lowering XCOM income. That's okay. We have unknown chosen around here. They're gonna be on different... Uh, 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 continents. So we have two dark events preparing. One is there is a risk of capturing all covert actions. That's bad. And all Advent soldiers now have a chance to reanimate a psionic zombies after they die. That's terrible. Don't want that. Yes. Yes, thank you. So, uh, this is our context over here. We have two more factions, the skirmishers and templars that we can meet. Right now, we have one card that we can spend because we do not have enough uh, influence with those guys. So, we either take one plus one resistance contact, which we definitely don't need yet. More from supply drops. I'm gonna take that. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the covert actions. That's what we get. So, uh, we don't need to hunt the chosen yet. We can start the, find the mission to uh, rescue Praetal Mox. Think that what you might want to do. Excavation speed increase by 50% is actually really good. Or we can local locate the faction, the Templars. Uh, yeah, we need a sergeant. So we can't do this. I am gonna do this one. So two soldiers. I can do two rookies that have good cohesion. So let's say, uh, Lieutenant, who have a... I wanna know who we have a good cohesion with. Yeah, yeah, we have supplies over here. You see, I know, I understand. I want to know who Lieutenant Dan has a good cohesion with, or something. So you, the soldiers, let's say uh, Lieutenant Dan, who do we have cohesion with? 
Very high with Leslie. Or Joko. Uh, Leslie is already, like, very high with me, I think. So, uh... Well, uh, Lieutenant Dan and Joko. A, a select operation over here. So we're gonna go for the... This one. Excavation speed increased is really good. Shut up, Central! So let's get... Lieutenant Dan over here. And let's get my boy, Joko. Yeah? He's gonna actually get some uh, better aim chance. You're gonna get uh, some influence. There's no danger right now. It's gonna take us nine days. We're gonna go for that. Later on, I wanna go for locate factions and get the Prail mocks back. Confirm that. Begin action. We're gonna go into Australia. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, let's finish the autopsy before I finish the episode over here. So we're gonna go for our big supply drop. Let's go for that. Let's go. <coughs> what do you have for me? Shut up. I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however... The Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Truly, yes. indeed. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. I'm on it, like Dagon. I'm on it. Easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. It's not my call. You're telling me what to do, even though I am your commander. God damn it, Central. Yeah, eventually we'll go for that. That's okay. Proving grounds, we can build that eventually. Okay, um, new research. We do want to go for something like... Um, sectoid, stun lancer, experimental weapon. Let's go for experimental weapons. Let's go for that. Okay, so I'm going to finish the episode here. For now, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Share, like, subscribe, and I see more Doom Magic. And I'll see you next time. Kirk out.